MTN. Everywhere you go. Project Fame! What's a feeling? If you are deceiving yourself, you don't need any other person to deceive you. Because already you're not even true to yourself. Welcoming substances into your life will make you no longer believe in yourself. You've lost it. And I tell you, when you lose it, you see what you're going through to build it. Hmm? It's times 10 to build it back. Now, there's something people don't remember. If I fall, I'll get up again. Oh, you've forgotten that there's a word called pride by the side? Are you sure your pride will allow you to go all the way, the way you used to go before you got up there? Trust me, when you fall, you need to go through those roads again. Now, out of pride and shame, you fade away. You, you disappear, you just get, you get small change and you disappear to one country. Shame! You're not ready to humble yourself anymore to go through the process of climbing up. But if you can, you're going to stand again. And it will be difficult for anyone to pull you back. Because you were down and you went through the shame. I beg you, do not ever allow anybody talk you into, um, you know, you are a big brand. You can't, you can't do this, you can't, uh, you, you know, uh, it's, uh, mommy is too annoying. Now, these same people refuse to tell you a reality. I'll give you an example. You are falling, you know you are falling. And you need to do a collaboration, for instance, with the young guy that his name is Hot. Bro, swallow that pride. Forget about our shame. Call the young boy. Do something with the person to gradually get back. Swallow your pride. I have one principle. If I walk into your office, that's one of my greatest motivations. I don't take no as depression. If I go into your office and I ask you for something, I'm here to do something, blah, blah, this, one, and you say no. I say, oh, thank you very much. I'll leave. Because as I'm walking out, even your secretary cannot read on my face, no. There is no way no is written on my forehead. There is no no written. Do you know how many times I've gotten a no? Do you know how many times I've gotten a no on stage? I go on stage and they're like, no, no. We don't want, no, we want this person. We don't want, no. But trust me, I just put it behind me and I move. Because it's not real. I don't know if you understand. It's not real. It's not printed on my body. So do not allow. There is this thing I call um, an idea surrounding your fame. Do not allow a negative idea surrounding your fame cloud the real you. You know when you build, mommy, you know, like you build a cloud around your head. Oh, I am X, Y, Z. It's just an idea that you molded it yourself. Now, that idea is clouding the real you. Trust me, if you allow that, you're finished. Mm. Lastly, lastly, family. I know some of you, I know we, we are probably not everybody's fortunate to come out from a very good family, a college family, and all of that. Family. Family depression can lead to involvement of abusive substance. Your family is like your greatest, is your greatest ground. You know what it feels like? When you hear that, oh, you're on MTF with your film and nobody voted for you. But you heard that your mom and your sisters and your dad voted for you. You are elevated. You're like, okay. Like, okay, my family is there for me. Be prepared. What happens when all of a sudden that family is not there for you? I'm giving you instances that can lead to depression. Because sometimes when we talk about involvement in substance, abusive substance, it's a deep level of depression 
that leads to involvement of this thing. It's not always in the party. You look at your account, it's millions. Your manager is still telling you that you have been booked for the year. You've gotten everything. But nobody is actually saying that there's something missing. You're missing someone. It could be your lord. When I mean family, it could be your girlfriend, it could be your wife, it could be your parents. It could be those, those people that if you've lost your parents like me, now I'm an orphan for instance, but there are some people in my life that I love so much. It could be those people. Family could be even the music that you're doing. Now, at that level of depression, when you get involved in abusive substance, it's difficult, very difficult to back out. Because it's at you are at your lowest point, your immune system is flat. You are at your lowest point of mommy. I don't know. You know this thing. Um, this, when you go to the castle, they tell you the door of no return. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you any of you visited the castle before? Yeah. In Elmina Castle. Okay, great. Yes. You know, there's, when you get to the castle, they tell you, or oh, when the slaves got to this point, mm -hmm. like you are at that point, like the door of no return. Once you get in. You can't come back. But in the same castle that they wrote the door of no return, in that same castle, there's actually a door that says, Welcome. I don't know, did you see that door? You saw it. There's a door saying, No return. Which means some people actually went and never came back. But some went and came back through another door grace. So be careful. Be very, very careful. At the point of family and all of this, your girlfriend, when you're broken, when you're at that moment where you don't want to see anybody, you're a superstar for crying out loud. You feel it's a plastic world. You're not allowed to do the regular things you used to do. These are like things you've been doing for years. You think it's easy for me to let go. Like it's not easy. I still want to go and eat the regular places I used to eat. I'm tired. I don't want to, I don't want to see cameras. Like, Trust me, you get to that stage. Mommy is an ex. She will tell you. You get to that stage where you just go like, I, I don't want to see anybody. Like, can I just be alone? Like, I'm looking for Yinka. Like, I want Yinka. I don't want Lamborghini. Lamborghini, please leave me. At that point, you could pick up a substance. Unknowingly, you just, I want to relief. It's not going to relieve you. You're getting messed up. So what I will tell you is this, when you wake up every day, you pray. I don't care if you have 200 girlfriends, I don't care if you are a sinner, wake up every day and pray and tell God, remind God. When you keep reminding him, let him know that he is actually the one in charge. You didn't get here because you are talented, no. When you pray every day. They used to say, pray so that you will not pray. You know, you, you, I don't know if you understand. Pray so that you will not pray. <laughs> is it, is it, it, I don't know if you understand that word. Pray so that you will not pray. Because if you see people that are praying, if you see people asking God, God, where are you? You get to that stage. So that's why they say, pray so that you will not pray. Let these things become a part of you from now. Wake up in the morning, pray. You're about going on stage, pray. Let this prayer thing become like, and let it become a part of you. Just the same way you have an old bad habit that you are not letting go. Let that prayer become like an old bad habit. That's why you see some old men who still sit down and be coughing, using their, their hand in their mouth, their fingers in their mouth. Like, mm. It's an old bad habit. It's very difficult to let go. Welcome God in your life and trust me when they say he will direct your path mm -hmm. I'm not a pastor mm -hmm. yeah right I remember the day you were ordained so get out <laughs> <laughs> Momo. I'm yes, a pastor <laughs> yes so yeah, a GDM pastor I beg <laughs> yes you know but the truth is I have a relationship with God. 
Now the question is, do you have a relationship? You know, I've, exposure has made me understand so many things. Oh, I don't like the doctrine of this church. I don't like the doctrine. I don't like that church. I don't like this church. Do you? Do you like your church? There is a church here. Yeah. Even if you don't like the whole church, you have a church here. You have a God in here. Don't you know you are a God? That's why when you speak, when you speak, it comes to pass. Why do you think our parents, when we were younger, like the good mothers who say, Uri Edalon well, you want more, Uri Edalon well. Like, like they want to abuse you. Sorry, I'm speaking Yoruba, I'm a Yoruba man. I can't take that far away. Like, when they, instead of saying, you are stupid, you, know, you go like, you this boy, you have a good head, oh, you have a good head, oh. Like, I don't want to say the negative. They don't want to use the negative word because when you keep using negative words, it will come to pass. It's, uh, it's, it's like, it's accumulating. So you are a God. You need to realize that you are a God. You can speak to something and it will come alive. Just the way you spoke to your dream. Just the same way you spoke to yourself. And you are right now in Project Fame. That is the same way I want you to speak to your destiny. Speak to your career. Speak to your future. So you can be in charge. And remember, each and every one of you, you are a leader. And... I don't get followers already. Your, your church members are millions already. Teach them right. Teach them the right path. So that they will not become a problem for you tomorrow. When I say pray so that you will not pray, that is what it means. Wow. Can we give him a warm round of applause? Thank you. Just sit down. Sit down. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, that's an that's an amazing session. Let's sit. You know, I mean, it's um. Sorry. <laughs> what? Right, thank you. Nice. Like, please have your drink. I'll be. I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. You know. Um. That. That. I, I don't know if you have, you know, questions. I don't want to. I mean, it's it's been an amazing, it's an amazing testimony, um, you know, where the life itself, the life of the person itself, is the testimony of the of the greatness and the grace, you know, the grace of God. You know, it's amazing. It's amazing. Thank you. You know. Any questions? Yes, Niniola. Any question? I just want to say that I just want to say thank you for coming here. Um, I really appreciate it, and I'm sure my friends here appreciate it. Um, you have touched a soul, whether or not you know you have. And coming from a young man, you know, <laughs> you know, when I first saw you, I'm like, okay, what does he have to say? Okay. <laughs> And then you open your mouth and great things are coming. Even mommy was jotting some things down. I'm like, okay, so thank you so much for coming. You know, and it's a competition where you, you know, you have expectations. Sometimes you meet them, sometimes you don't. And those words, you just kept saying, there's no no on my body. Don't build a cloud and all that. I really got that. You know, sometimes you talk to people, you're an inspiration and you're all of a sudden, you're in a place whereby you feel so alone and then people are talking to you. The teachers are saying, do this. Oh, no, 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 don't do it. This. And you know, you come and then you wrap everything up. It's, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> lovely, lovely. That's a lovely comment. Yes, anybody else? Yes, Omolai. Sit down, everyone. Don't mind me in your lap. You, you know, she always starts one. She always starts one energy. <laughs> you know? yeah, I would like to say thank you very much for the uh, inspiration you've given us because uh, I'm encouraged. Say, knowing that it's not only probably we that we are here or few people out there that are really struggling to impact this generation with the little they have, which is their voice. I'm so happy because uh, it's it's not only 
here, that we get to hear this same uh, word of encouragement. It's, it's a good encouragement that somebody is actually living it. Mm -hmm. And it's a, a, it's a solid example that, okay, someone has been there. Probably if some of us that would like to venture into similar things, probably when we are having challenges, we can refer back to you or via mommy or rather whether directly or indirectly. <laughs> so I, I really want to say thank you for sacrificing this much for this generation. When you were planning to do this, you did not probably did not know that one day you'll be seated here sharing this with us. I just want to say thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> I'm very no? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, any, any comments <laughs> from anybody else? Because somebody mentioned the fact that I was jotting down things and my jottings were questions. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> now, there's, um, okay, you've answered one of them. Why the 32? why some of the 32 yeah. were in um, prison in the first place. Now, there was something very interesting that you said, and I think it's, it, it's very important for, um, for us to take that on, to, to note that, to remember that certain assignments are attached to the entertainer. Obviously, some of you, from what you're saying, already know the assignment that has been attached to your entertainment. Some of you don't. For those who don't know, ask the Lord. Let him let you know. There's, and then the, the, there was something he said about being the of an authority, a power. I thought that was amazing. Now, you said something. Celebrate, you know, because I find the Lord leading me in that direction at the moment. You know, and it's nice to hear that. I've been hearing it in, in several places, you know, this celebrating Nigeria. I think we've, we've, we've discussed it as well in the house. It's something that I'm hearing, that, you know, and when I hear people say it, I say, yes, that's it. It's almost like the season that we've come into in our country, this celebration of Nigeria. Um, so how, because, you, you know, one of the things you did say was that you're fed up of the negativity that people are, are, are you know, keep bashing of that. So how do you counter it? What are you doing to counter that bashing? Okay, first and foremost, there's a realization that says I am a Nigerian. I can't wake up tomorrow morning and become a boy from another country. I am a Nigerian. I carry a Nigerian flag in my blood everywhere I go to. Now, one of the ways is using my tool, which is music, to fight. Now, I'll give you an example, mommy. Um, Everybody's complaining, like I said earlier on, Nigeria is bad. But if only everybody can take care of their little territory. An individual is a president in a territory. As you're seated right here, you all have a room. You are a president of that room. Or probably you have a house. You are a president of that house. If you can lead that house properly, Communicate. Make sure you wash the dishes when they need to be washed. That dish, that, that your kitchen is a community. Make sure the, your parlor is cleaned when it's supposed to be cleaned. Make sure you do the laundry properly when you're supposed to. Now you are in charge. You are a leader. If only you can take care of your immediate community, and I take care of my immediate community. He takes care of his immediate community. At the end of the day, we're going to have a beautiful, large community. Now, using my two. Fighting. I remember when I did Valentine in prison. It's called the VIP concert, Valentine in prison. When I did that, somebody called me from Australia and said, in my wildest dream, if they tell me a Nigerian would do what you're doing, I will say no, it can never happen. Now, one person in Australia, whether you like it or not, this one person probably knows 50 people in Australia. And because of that experience, she's probably going to start telling everybody around her, even if it's for one week. Man, Nigeria is becoming good, yeah? I heard that somebody did a concert in prison. Whether you like it or not, there is a percentage that has been changed. Don't always believe in the large results. Start from the little percentage you can change. 
So, one of the ways to counter it is you go to the river, it's all messed up. For every weed, or, or you, mommy, you know those kind of rivers that have plants on them. That's how Nigeria is. You know, some, some, maybe the center part is clean, but the edges have weed and all of that. You're looking at like, where do I start from? The moment you bend down and pull one out, if you count those weeds, it's no longer the same amount. You bend again, pull one out. But for every time you're looking at it, it feels like you've not done anything. Because it's still many. But the truth is, there's a minus. And the more you pull, you will find people. Now, let me, this will take me to what, what I call the law of frequency. Now, there is a law of frequency. When you operate on a particular frequency, there are so many other people on that same frequency out there. Now, the fact that you are the first person in that frequency does not mean you are the only one on that frequency. But just continue, it will take a little while. But people operating on that same frequency will soon locate you. That is why you wake up in the morning. There is a, 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 a like people wake up in the morning, there are so many TV shows, but they want to watch Project Fame. Coincidentally, millions of people are sitting down watching a particular frequency. No, it's because they are operating on the same frequency. So when you start something, it's not about, don't say, like uh, my, my, my guardian used to tell me, he said, there would always be the poor, the middle class, and the rich. Simple. Mom, as I'm sitting here, by the time God blesses me and I start having my babies, I'm married and I start having, I already know what I want my children to be. It's not my fault. It's not my children's fault that I want them to be at that particular level or that particular class. Now, there are so many other people that have the same understanding with me that they are thinking in that direction. At the end of the day, we're going to have huge amount of, or large amount of children operating on the same frequency because their parents were operating on the same frequency. So, countering the, or building back a positive Nigeria. Don't look at if you can get 200,000 people at a go. No! I'll give you a testimony. The first time I ever released a single, I only had 50 downloads. 50 out of 160 million people. The second time I dropped a single, from 50 to 300. What does that tell you? It tells you probably those 50 actually went around telling people about it. Now, something, something happened because Olamide is like, um, like a younger brother to me, like we've known way back and there was this thing I did in 2010, um, it's called Say No To Crime All Star, like, and he, nobody, nobody knew him then, like, it was even Kafi that introduced Olamide to me and Olamide was like, I oh, mean, I, I rap well, like, I can do something. I'm like, okay, I don't know you, but okay, you know what, get on this song, man, do something. And he came on the track, ba, ba, ba. Olamide was the youngest artist on that song. Because I had the likes of AY.com, it was raining, um, Lara George, Nicky Laoye, Micah Remu, like the big names were on the song, it was, it was fire. But he did his thing and he killed it. Two years later, Olamide became massive. When I mean massive, massive. And when I talked about swallowing your pride and all of that, January, or December, I called him. He was already so big, like it's even difficult reaching him. But I spoke with him, I'm like, I want to do a song with you. Let me know when you're free. He said, ah, my boss, ah, no, hey. Don't worry, I'll work it out. I know it's, it's, it's a crazy one, you know, management here and there. It's no longer the Olamide that came to me. I don't know if you understand. Yeah. Yeah. It's no longer the Olamide that came. Yeah. Now I had to go to him. Yeah. But because he has this spirit of humility that mm. I told you about, mm. And this spirit of conscience, mm. he could reflect and say, oh, this, this, this young man gave me an opportunity when, mm. he, when I was just coming up, like when people felt like, uh, what, what is he going to offer? And he came in January and did a collaboration with me. I released the song and in two weeks, the song had over 200,000 downloads. I shot the video, released it in June. As I'm speaking with you, I'm almost on 1 million view on the video. So what does that tell you? I don't like because everything I tell you, I'm a practical example. It's so nice that as I'm talking to you, like I'm still talking to myself. 
<laughs> I'm still encouraging Take myself. Yes. Because you know what it is to be in the a music business for 12 years, and as I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm not kidding. I don't have a hit song that has swept all over the nation before. No. But I've not given up. That didn't say I shouldn't affect life positively. I am. I'm doing everything. In fact, mommy it has even changed my mentality. As I'm sitting here, the only reason why I'm begging God that oh Father, I need a massive hit to sweep the whole nation is because I've realized my power. I want to help. I want to be able to build and do stuff. Like I have I have this thing in me that I say, I want to be able to feed 10 million people annually. That's my dream. That's my greatest dream. I want to feed, clothe 10 million people annually. And I know, I know it, will, it will come to pass. Sure, that's what I'm working at. That's why if I'm not getting a hit right now, I'm not, I'm not worried. And now I drop a new single, the one you heard on the yes, radio. That's where I'm going now. <laughs> yes, you know. I'm sitting down in my car going somewhere. <laughs> and I hear this radio announcer say, and in here we have Lamborghini. And I'm like, yeah, that's my guy. Yes, ah, what does he have to say? And you know, so they talk about this song. And he says, well, he composed this song because, you know, there was this girl, this babe, and he loved her so much. And unfortunately, the babe didn't love him back. I say, how dare she? <laughs> how dare she? Does she know what she's, you know? And what's, what's the title of the song? Inside My Head. Inside My Head, you know? <laughs> so, and then they talk to us about that album. All right, oh, um, Inside My Head, um, Actually, because I'm a realistic person, I fell in love with a girl. You know, I, I fell in love so deeply. Yes. You know, so you know, like as even as I'm talking. Let me meet that kid. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> even as I'm speaking with you, like I can still feel it. Oh. You know, like I fell in love so deeply, but she never loved me back. And it was. Now this also takes me to that realization I'm actually talking to you guys about. She told me the truth. She didn't deceive me. She didn't build a wrong cloud around me. She's like, I'm sorry, you're a great person, you have such a great heart, but I don't know, the connection is not just there. And I don't want to lead you wrong. We can still be great friends, we can. And, you know, music, you give back to each song according to your experience or someone's experience around you. And all I could say was, I have a picture of you inside my head. Like, I can't, I, I don't know. I got a picture of you, baby, inside my head. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I just did it, like, voice note, and I sent it to her. She was in the UK when I did that. And I got to the studio because I work with Yemi Sax. And Yemi Sax was just like, ah, oh, okay, let's do something. I'm like, okay, yeah, I want to do this particular song. And I recorded it, and everybody went like, oh, this is actually very nice. Like. After recording, I sent it to her, she was laughing, she was like, are you joking? Like, you want to make a song out of this? The song is actually out now. Okay, and so I, now that you're saying that, I want to try it because I know these crazy people I have in the house. <laughs> alright? So I want you to sing that song, alright? And I just want you all to see how you blend into it. Because I know, yeah! Oh yeah, have fun. <clears throat> just listen to it, because right. I, I know my guys. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's a music class, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I wanna wanna do you many things. Me, I wanna wanna teach you many things. Kiss you, trip you, tease you, bees you. Me, I go do you many things, many things. Oh, my man, there are so many, many things. Oh, my man, there are so many, many things. Your kissing neck with tablet is my medicine, medicine, medicine. Mm. Shall you go follow me to Jalingo? Fly with me like Flamingo. Later tonight we go dance a lingo. Me and you together and I go gongo. I got a picture of you, baby. Inside my head. Oh, I got a picture of you, baby. Inside my head. The way you walk and the way you smile, baby. When you touch me, I they feel I'm one time. I got a picture of you, baby. I got a picture of you, baby. I got a picture of you, baby. Inside my head. I got a picture of you, baby. Inside my head. The way you walk and the way you smile, baby. When you touch me, I they feel them one time. Inside my head, oh. Mm -hmm. One plus one, it to one, baby. Get me and you together now, one now. Money no be problem, she being a monkey, na inga si banana. I 
don't see many, many girls. I don't, hmm, 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 hmm. But this very particular one, I never see. Six in the morning, she find where well. For afternoon, she find where well. Twelve midnight, she find where well. I'm a dino, she find where well. I got a picture of you, baby. Inside my head, I got a picture of you, baby. Inside my head, the way you walk and the way you smile, baby. Inside my head, when you touch me, I just feel I'm on time. Inside my head, oh, 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 oh,